Hey, what's up there? It's Ophiris. Today I'm going to show you how you can remove and replace the alternator on this 2002 Mercedes C240 with a 2.6 liter engine. Now before we attempt to start removing uh, our belt and then getting to our alternator, it's very important to remove, uh, disconnect both our uh, battery cables. First the negative, and then the positive. Next, in order to take off our separate team belts, we're going to need a 17 millimeter socket on a ratchet, uh, or preferably a pry bar, and we're going to get that. There's going to be a place where the 17 millimeter is going to go over on this tensioner mechanism, which is this piece right here, and it's, that's going to be right below this, uh, the lower side of this belt. And then we're going to turn it counterclockwise. That's going to release some tension on the belt, and then we're going to be able to slide this belt off of this pulley and all the rest. Just make sure you either have a graph of how this belt is routed or that you draw one for yourself. All right, this is where it's going to go. Then I'm going to turn this counterclockwise and then just slide this off. Like this. And we can let it go back to its, uh, to the, let it go back to the right. And then just slide the belt off all the other pulleys. Alrighty, next there's going to be a 13 millimeter bolt that's in the back of the alternator that it's going to be a lot easier to take off now with the alternator held in place by the mounting bolts than to try to do it after we take the alternator out. And if you get a long ratcheting wrench like I do here, it's going to, it's going to come in pretty handy. But uh, as you can see, we're not getting many clicks in, but just patient, uh, you should be able to remove it. There we go, let's go right here. Next we just pull on the cable that's in the back of the alternator and detach it, this guy there here. And there's also going to be another connector that we might be able to take it out now or it shouldn't be a, that, much of a, that much of a hassle. Once we get, get this alternator loosened, we're just going to pull it out and then uh, disconnect that connector and then we should be able to get our, uh, clear our alternator. Alright, next we're going to take off two bolts that are holding this alternator in place. One is this one right here, and the other one is going to be right down there below this uh, coolant hose. And these are going to require an E14 inverse torque socket. All right, next we're going to get our pry bar in there and start uh, pushing this alternator out. Just make sure you don't pinch any uh, wires or damage anything. And once you get the top part out, the rest should come out much easier. Right. And once you get it loosened, there's the connector that you'll need to reach down there and uh, remove. You've got a little plastic tab towards the bottom of it. You press that on, press on that, and then pull on the connector, and it will come loose. Here's a closer look. So this is in there like this. So we just press on this end like this and pull, and that's it. Alrighty, now we should be able to maneuver our alternator around this bracket and coolant lines and hopefully get it out of here. We shall see. There we go. The main obstacles are going to be these uh, coolant hoses, I guess. There we go. And that's all I was to replacing your alternator on your uh, Mercedes Benz. Just a word of caution though, when you go to put this back in, obviously you put the, the bottom part on the bracket and slide on the top part, then you start screwing in your bolts, get, get them started by hand one at a time. That way you have some wiggle room to wiggle this around and line everything up. And make sure you can get them by hand, don't cross thread these bolts because it's rather easy to do. Alright, so with that said, hope this video is simple out there. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more like it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.